I represent him for the old folks the bold folks The trailblazers that had nothing but cards and dice These baby video game masters that can sit and cry Cause we were skin and oaks before you was a game Your dad is Fellow cyber dogs and fellow Minecrafters and fellow mine squatches all over the world. This is the Lockabout with the Lockabout presents. Let's play Minecraft 1.8, and I am playing a little Minecraft hardcore. I have been playing pretty much nothing but Terra Firmacraft uh, for many, many days now, and I found myself with a real Jones to play Minecraft. But. Quite frankly, after Terra Firmacraft, this all seems so very simple that I had to do something different, and so I have done hardcore. I started out in a, in a taiga biome, but I have done so many builds in taigas here recently that I'd really rather not just do the same old, same old. So I'm taking a wander here, see if maybe I can find a plains where I can come up with some horses. I have been able to gather enough um, materials to make a bed so I did sleep through the first hard night oh look at there we got a little coal let's get that everything seems so easy and so accessible after playing terra firma craft you know because terra firma craft is really a struggle so gotta say this seems to feel awfully easy to me I'm sure it's not actually that easy and it's just as dangerous as it always was. It's just, it feels so not scary to me. Now I noticed, I'm, I'm using the uh, John Smith Universal uh, Remix. And so my uh, 1.8 textures are still default. Um, I will be uh, adding in a 1.8. Uh, try over this way. Um, I will be adding in the 1.8 texture pack so that we get proper John Smith textures for uh, for these things too. I just got to do that in a few minutes here. Lots and lots of cows. Lots and lots of cows. That's a good thing. But I'm hoping to find some plains where there will be horses available. this way. Um, here's some more uh, this good stuff. But this is a hardcore map. If I perish, it is the end. But I'd really like to find a village or something to make this a little easier got for the sun here oh geez okay got to do something about that hmm I think probably what I'll do is I'll just put my bed down and sleep when the time comes just to get through the night these first couple of nights, of course, are always very, very difficult, and uh, I'd be careful here, so I don't, because, you know, usually when I play a hardcore map, I don't end up dying from mobs, I end up dying because I'm a dingle fritz and fall down a hole, so, all right, well, let's place our bed real quick here, and just see if we can sleep through the night. Shouldn't be long. I'd like to f settle on a spot before I do a bunch of mining and things like that. Come on. But I do have to eat soon, that's for sure. I'm just going to end up eating this raw, even though it's not going to do me as much good as if I had eaten it cooked. There we go. Sleep this through. Well, I'll tell you, I may sound a, a little aggroed, and that's just because I just had some tremendous difficulties with my machine getting things to run. For some reason, it was lagging horribly. 
And I thought, and, and it ended up actually, it was Optifine of all things that was making it lag out horribly. So that I don't understand because it's meant to do the exact opposite, you know? Better get up out of here though. Like I say, hoping I can find the planes. Got lots and lots of exposed uh, coal around here. Wonder how about over this way? This looks kind of interesting here. Kind of a little watery cave, which is pretty cool. But like I say, I'd like to find a planes. Don't push me off of here, cow. Please, please don't push me off of here, and I won't push you off either. Let's call it a deal. And it's on chickens. Sorry, chickens. Nothing personal, but I need food and I need feathers. Oh, we got a plane's up here. Looks like we could have some planes. This would make me happy. I don't see the happy happy we will try elsewise but i think i think i think we may have found our planes if we can find some horses involved in the situation there's some horses oh, oh lots of horses excellent 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 wow you guys are handsome too let's see what we got down on this end of it so we seem to have some hills off to one side but there are lots of horses and a fair number of cows Oh, look, we've got uh, sunflowers. That's always cool. You grab one and oh, look what I see, guys. I see a village. Let's go, let's go. Village, village, village. That is exactly what I was hoping for. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, check it out, guys. Wow, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's only got a couple of buildings. Well, hi there. Whoa. Tons of horses. Wow, there's a big old, like, ravine here. Oh, I see iron down there. So what do we got? This is standard situation. Hello. Paper for emeralds. Looting through. Ooh, check that out. Third. Wow, that's nuts, though. 33 emeralds in a book to get looting three. Wow. Okay. Whoa. I spun all the way around in a circle. That startled the crap out of me. Where'd the other one go? Because I think there's only two villagers here. This is perfect. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah, what do you got? Nine leather for an emerald. Four emeralds for some leather pants, huh? Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think I'm going to find anything better than this. Wandering an awful long way from home there, pal. We got lots and lots of horses. What else we got around here? Is this just a valley or is it a river? Oh, epic. We got a river. Whoa. Okay. All right, so we got a horsey down there. But uh, there's definitely some... Oh, careful. There's definitely some iron down there. And some coal. And here we go. Fishing hole. And already a little bit of uh, sugar cane. This is perfect, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I've never encountered just like a single building or two buildings except for my very first time that I played Minecraft. I found a single house just in the middle of no place. This is super duper. All right. Well, where's the sun? The sun is directly overhead. It's, uh... Actually, I... 
I think I'm gonna go down and immediately see if I can mine some of this armor. Careful! Now the question is how we get down. Wow, that is a long way. Well, make sure I'm in the right spot here. Now remember that this is hardcore and this could literally be the end of it all right here if I if this ends up not working. Oh, okay. Whew. Fantastic. All right. Let's get over here and get this iron. Quite frankly, I didn't know if I was going to be okay with that or not. Come on up here. Get up there. There we go. All right. Irons. Oh, I got to... Okay, I've got to make some stone tools. Dude, here I'll cut you a little path so you can get up out of the water. You're a handsome fella, all dapple gray and stuff. Okay, well, let's uh, get our crafting table down, make ourselves a stone pick, grab this iron, and then get ourselves up on out of here. Some more sticks and a stone shovel in case, and another stone pick. Okay, we should be good. I want to get this done. Careful, horse, don't step in front of my axe. Two, and three, four, five, awesome, six, wow, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten iron, just like that, look at that. What else we got going on here? Open this up so we can get back up. Got some... No, don't see any more exposed iron. I think probably my best bet for getting back up is going to be that way. Let's see here. Oh, don't be a pain in my rear, please. go now maybe this way you know what I could do to get back up there do this that's easy enough there we go I'll have to knock one out to get out of it but Come on. There we go. Awesome. That was pretty handy. All right. Careful here. I'm going to have to, like, act, dig an actual proper path down. I'm, stupid villagers are probably going to fall in there and die, but let's, uh, let's get ourselves set up here. Okay, let's make ourselves a furnace, cook some of this food. This is just a fantastic spot. I'm really, really pleased to have found this. And, and like I said, I've only ever seen like a single or just like two houses like this in my very first game that I ever played. Cook some tea. There we go. <sighs> so we have shelter. We have food. Got a couple of villagers on hand. There we go. Once 
we get those cooked do this iron so much better you know I mean I'd, I'd have done the whole you know live in a hole thing but I'd sure much rather be doing this but I also better get this bed down because I don't want to oh jeez are you out of your mind just go running right in front of me like that there we go until I can get the materials to protect the village this is really the easiest way to keep them safe all right that's cooking Oh, wait. We've got two females here, so she'll trade coal for emeralds. And seven emeralds for an efficiency, two on breaking, two shovel, huh? Okay, I didn't know we had three of them. What is this nut job doing here? What are you doing? I would really like it if you would go in that building so that I could lock you in until I can protect you. Please don't. Please don't. Come on. Come here. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> I don't like that. He's all on that edge. Let's see. All right, let's go cut some wood, see if we can make some fences, maybe, and, and just, um, if we can keep them fenced into this basic area here, I think they'll be okay. I didn't realize there were three of them. I thought there was only two, so. Grab this. And like I say, oop. Maybe we'll be able to make some fences. And that way we can keep them in the general area until we can get some protection going for them. Hopefully get myself together enough that I can manage to take on a couple of spiders and get some string. Oh, I can hear my wife's alarm clock going off probably gonna have to go make sure she's moving here shortly it's very early in the morning about 6 a.m. now honestly I don't remember the recipe so think it goes like this because they changed the recipes for for 1-8 there we go that should be enough, I hope. Well, let's do one more. And then I think if we reverse these, actually, is how we end up with a gate. Come on. Move over there. And yes, all right. One, two gates. All right. I think we're going to be able to get these guys safe relatively quickly here, by golly. So we'll... That there, and one space, and put that there. Gonna have to leave that open so he can get back in. And there we go. Ha ha ha, that will work. All right, now if I can just get our guy in green here back inside, I think we'll be okay. back in here. I wonder where he went. Hope he didn't fall down the, the ravine. Why don't you come on up here? I mean, I know when it gets dark, they'll all go running for cover, hopefully. Alrighty. Now I gotta decide what it is to do with this iron, whether to make iron tools or whether to make some armor. Mmm, that's a tough call. That is a tough call. If I made myself a, a iron chest plate, that would give me a fair amount of protection. Okay. Now, 
let's see, I better write down my coordinates for this village right now before I forget to do it. So we'll call it, we'll call it minus 300, minus 300. Wow. Okay, that works. That's easy to remember. Because if I have to, okay. Was that him? No, that was not him. Darn it, where did he go? Listen, you guys, please get in here so that I can close these gates and you can be safe. Don't want the frustration. There you are. You need to go inside, dude. I mean, seriously. Now, this way. And I know you want out of there too, but I don't want you to fall down the the bottom, guys. All right. Well, I'm at about 20 minutes, which is usually about as long as I go when I'm recording. And by golly. We have got ourselves, I think, the best start I have ever had in a game of hardcore. This little village is absolutely epic. Just absolutely epic. There's plenty of horses around. I'm looking to see if we've got any, any food animals, any cows or anything like that. So far all I'm seeing are horses, though we, we did pass lots of cows and stuff on our way in. So we could go back for them, I suppose. Anything? Mm, looks like it's all pretty much horses. That's all right. They're food too, if in an emergency. <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but remember, this is hardcore. Oh, we got some pigs over here. All right, that's a good start. So we got a few piggly wigglies. All right, guys. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set about the process of gathering me some wood and all of that kind of stuff hopefully when nightfall comes these dingbats will go rushing inside and i can finally close the gate and hopefully keep them safe and then i'm gonna have to start fortifying this both for their sake and for mine got some sand over there that's good more horses yeah so it looks like the only close by animals other than horses are those couple of pigs over there get this stuff All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me, Delacaba, for this very first episode of my latest hardcore series. I'm sure it'll be like all the other ones, and at some point I'll fall down a hole and die. I never seem to die from mobs. It's always something silly, like falling off the edge of something. But I'm going to go as far as I can, because, like I say, after playing so much Terra Firma craft, playing this is pretty tame. So i got to have me a little, a little higher level here, so... All right, thank you for joining me. Here's a Minecraft Hardcore Half-Five with a stone pick in your face. I'm out. Peace.